Hey everybody, so I have this HP Envy 17 inch laptop. I'll put the model number in the description if you want to check if it's the same as yours. And uh, the other day I was carrying it and I noticed that the back of the case right about here had started to bulge a little bit. And because I've had this apart, I knew that was about where the battery was. Um, so I took the laptop apart and as it turns out, the battery was actually expanding. It had gotten overheated or something had happened to it. I'll show that footage real quick so you can see what that battery looked like. So what I'm gonna do here is I ordered a new battery for it. I'll link this in the description if it fits. Hopefully it will. And I'm gonna take it apart real quick and show you guys how to replace that battery. It's pretty easy to do. So first there's eight T5 screws on the bottom here that you gotta take out. These four along this front edge are shorter than the rest. So those four are short and then the other four are about twice as long. And then after you get those out, there's actually three Phillips head screws under this rear bumper. And unfortunately I've had mine apart about three times now. And so I'm hoping this rubber will still stick after the third time here. So you have to peel this up and then get the little black adhesive part under here up too and then try to kind of peel it together. So there's the first one, and then there's one here and one here. So that's as far as I'm going to take that or that rubber off and then put the Phillips head screwdriver in here. I'm just going to lay this rubber back down real quick. And then you can take a little plastic tool like this and pry up along the edges. I found that it kind of comes apart at the front easier. But it's probably gonna make a liar out of me now. There we go. And so you can just take that back cover off. And so like I said, I already took the old battery out. It was right here. It was held in with these four Phillips screws. I'll get the new battery out here and it goes right about here. And this cable actually needs to kind of tuck underneath like that. And then it plugs in right here. And so on the bottom here, these, these, there's these little tabs. There's matching um, little points here that go in those holes. So that kind of helps you line up the battery a little bit. Okay, quick change of plans here. These top holes didn't quite line up with the holes on my computer. So I just took a little drill bit and made them a little bit longer and just elongated them a little bit. And so now they should line up better. I'll put these four screws in again. I'm gonna leave them all a little loose until I get them all in. And that way it'll let it kind of adjust a little more. Okay, so they all went in that time really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and snug them all down a little bit. I'm not gonna make them too tight. All right, so that should do it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the battery cable here. That looks good. All right, so bearing anything going wrong, that was ominous. I'm gonna go ahead and put the case back on. I'm gonna be optimistic and go ahead and put the screws in and give it a quick test. Put these Phillips ones back in. I'm not gonna completely stick that rubber back down yet in case I need to get into it again. And then switch to your T5 bit. And remember the long ones are these four here. All right, I'm gonna flip it over now. 
and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And I'm actually going to leave it plugged in for a couple minutes before I turn it on. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to power it on now and it's going to go through a little process. It did this while I was running it with the battery out of it. It kind of boots twice and then it comes up with a little thing that says it has to reset a code. But hopefully after this, it shouldn't have to do this anymore. You can hit enter when this comes up or just let it work and it'll it'll go through and then it, it boots up again and then it works. All right, so I had updates waiting on install, but once it got those done, booted up now, and it looks like everything's there. The battery is at 58% and it's charging. It looks like didn't give me an error message for the battery because I didn't buy, you know, an HP, official HP battery, but it looks like it's recognizing it okay. So I think that'll about do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody and I'll see you guys in the next one. What do you want?